Hi guys, my name is Gina Gems Cole and welcome back to another episode of Two Point Hospital. We are in the Mitten University Hospital. We have a one star. Let's go in because I have been doing a little bit of work on it since the last episode and I think actually we're not too far off winning a two star, which I am very happy about. I'll show you why I've done. It's not doing very well, to be honest. Um, lots of complaints, lots of people leaving, but it's getting better. Let me show you. I think, hang on, where's the, let me spin around to the view that I'm used to. I'm not used to this view. I'm used to this view. Look at those GPs offices. <gasps> seven, seven, eight, seven, seven. Whoa. Oh, look, update, what? Update chroma output colorizer two. We've upgraded something. I just I don't, oh, look, somebody else has died. Oh, this is just not a good hospital <laughs> whatsoever. Oh, we've got 10,000 pound for the finish of some research. Uh, do I need to hang on? Let me go back in. Let me go. I'll, I'll show you around in a second. Let's just. How do I? <laughs> uh, start research project. Here we go. Uh, oh yeah, we did. Ah, uh, okay. I'm on it a little bit. We've built. This is the first hospital where we've been able to have research. I don't really know what I'm doing with it. So <laughs> let's. I mean, let's leave chroma. I can't say that. Chromatherapy. Chromatherapy. Let's leave that for a second because we've upgraded that a few times. Let's. Uh, I mean, we've started the injection room stuff. I don't know how we're getting that research, but we've started it. So let's just continue on that. Let's just see what's. Uh, research complete. Wonderful. Okay. So, as you can see, I have made the hospital quite a bit bigger. I think I've bought. Actually, maybe it's just this this uh, big area that I've bought since the last episode. Staffing is a problem. We need somebody with uh, psychiatry for over there. Oh, they've been sorted. But yeah, I've re. Oh, no, I haven't reorganised this. This is what I need to do next. I think, if, or at some point, pretty soon, reorganise this part of the hospital. I've just got like a staff room, training and research, and a huge big toilet there that I just don't like the look of. I need to sort that out. But uh, in this main front area here. I have been, oh look, everyone's like, let's just sort out these people who are near dying. Let's put them near the front of the queue. Otherwise, they're at queue, queue position one. I think probably it's the GP problem. I think it's a GP problem, possibly, that the, they're queuing too long for the GPs. Let's, we should probably get some more, I might train some more doctors. Let's see, how many doctors? I've only got nine doctors. Let's just hire some doctors for now let's just put him down and see if he goes straight towards a job if he goes to a job then we know i don't know looking for work okay if he's looking for work okay we didn't need to hire him let's hire a nurse and see if she goes she she's in terrible no she's dull we don't want her uh nasty we certainly don't want nasty oh charming positive high energy yeah if he goes straight to work maybe it's nurses that we're Maybe it's nothing. Maybe we don't have a problem with staffing at all. And I've just hired them for nothing. Possibly. Maybe I did. Okay. <laughs> Pharmacy emergency. Oh, we will... Yeah, we'll do that. No problem. New illness in discovered. An inflated ego. That's good. And... Oh, it would be great to see... It would be great to work in a really spacious environment with lots of luxury furnishings. Something really prestigious. What do you think? Get a level four chromotherapy. We can do that. We've got a chromotherapy somewhere. We can we can get it to a level four. Where is the chromotherapy? Here it is. I've moved it moved it over here. So yeah, in the last episode, the chromotherapy was up here, and this this area of the hospital was a bit of a mess. I have tidied it up slightly, put some little toilets in, um, and yeah, it looks pretty good. We've got two pharmacies there. Oh, I didn't realise that we had. Why have I made two cardiologies? I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. I don't think I needed to. Or maybe actually there was. I can't remember. I think maybe actually there was huge queues outside the cardiology, so I just built another one. Hey, I've got to. That's fine. Right. <laughs> Let's sort out. Oh, we've almost done getting a two-star look. It's just the research that needs to happen. Let's make. Let's see this. We'll just wait for this guy to be decolorized. We can upgrade our colorizer to make it more effective. We should do that actually. We'll once this guy's been 
Oh no, he's fixing it. <laughs> I thought that he was someone that was no. Okay, let's let's upgrade it, and we'll also. Oh, can we edit the room whilst he's upgrading? Maybe not. But we want a level four. I'm gonna pause it a second whilst I just make this better. So let's see. We just need to add in some other things. A couple of plants. That plant is not doing us any favours, is it? Let's put some posters on the wall. Posters? I don't think posters add a massive amount of prestige. Oh, yeah, maybe they do, actually. A couple of posters of some various different things, just because. I want to put too many plants in, because if I put loads of plants in, then the giants need to um, water them, don't they? And I don't think I've got enough janitors, to be quite honest. <laughs> Let's put a sunflower here right by the radiator because plants love it right by the radiator and then maybe one in this corner and i feel like that should do it or put not far oh come on level four room is really difficult can we add another window will that do it for us oh can we squeeze a window we can't squeeze a window in there can we squeeze a window in oh so close if i could just put a window there i may be able to i can't do it right does a fire extinguisher help with prestige yay there we go level four. Oh, do you want to sell one invalid item is that going to take it no level four we still got level four okay like is that going to take it down my right, injection room re required let's pause it again whilst it i just read this a patient full. with mood poisoning is seeking treatment room required to treat them injection room um you need to research injection room we should send the patient home. I hate sending them home. Staff training required. Let's train this guy over here. And then we'll go and have a little look at the research. I think that we are researching the injection room, possibly. Right, let's have a look. Cause what's this guy? Is he a doctor or... Oh, no, assistant. Uh, they've got customer service. Training masterclass. Customer service two. Okay, we'll go with... Should we go with customer service three? Advanced reception and retail skills. Why not? And there we go. Train. Perfect. Let's have a little look in. We've now only got one reception person, have we? Yeah. We could probably do with putting in. Oh, do you know what I've not done? I've put this. Look at this nice like, area here. I put like a, a news agent thing. I think we need more janitors because there's lots of dead plants around. I put this news agent, but I didn't hire. An assistant. Whoa, let's get this guy. Not even not even bothered. Let's get him. He had a weak bladder. <laughs> oh! Yes! Dear hospital administrator, two-star hospital! Woohoo! Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a two-star rating by Two Point Health Ministry. So we've got 20,000 cash, 150 kudosh. We've unlocked Encyclopedia Bookcase 2 and Easy Scan 3 wonderful let's keep going because we're not quitting on this Maintenance hospital until we've got three stars um, but yeah there we go we've put just put in an assistant because for some reason i didn't buy an assistant what's this staff challenge get a little oh that's the level four yes we did it so for a oh my goodness i completely forgot about the pharmacy challenge where is the pharmacy these days um is this it Here's the pharmacy. Let's just check on the queue. Oh, we should we should do that, no problem, unless she all of a sudden decides to go on a break, which she she could, to be quite honest. She really could. Hopefully. Oh, I mean, we're going to have to build more GPs. I'm so surprised by how many GPs offices we need. Oh, and she's cold as well. Maybe I'm going to open this up here. How much money have we got? Yeah, I think I'm going to open this plot up and of GP offices there but for a three-star hospital staff training required you are gonna have to wait because somebody else is currently training I need to train uh, 20 staff no problem generate 4,000 research points so yeah we can do that let's keep researching things cure rate of 60% increase your cure rate by using your best staff for treatment and upgrading machines where possible also make sure patients don't leave or die before they get treatment hmm okay 
that could be a problem. Um, oh, publicity update. Augustus Lavender from Holistic sent us a letter. He expresses his thanks and says the Nietzsche's miracle grow is free of charge. Hmm, thanks, Augustus. I have no clue what that means. Let's buy this, though, right? Let's buy it for 50. And let's put some more GPs in there because... We need them. The only problem is, though, we get these... Oh, we haven't got the doctors. <laughs> we should... When, once this is finished, once this assistant... They're nearly done. We'll get some more doctors into the training room and make them good. It's quite difficult um, when they arrive, like, really rubbish doctors, and we've got to train them, to be honest. Injection room required. I know. Let's see. How close are we? Uh, cancel. No, we don't want to cancel. How can we... I want to see injection room. Oh, we're only 352 out of 1,000. We're going to have to send them home. We don't want to risk them dying in the hospital. We should have probably started researching the injection room earlier. But never mind. We didn't. But let's, let's get some... I am sick of having GP's cues. So let's just copy... And let's stick. I would love to have a hospital with <laughs> queues, with no queues uh, at the GP's offices. Let's just copy them and copy. The problem with having too many, obviously, is then <laughs> the staffing required. But what's this? Staff promotion. You can get promoted. Don't know what you want to promote into, but you can get promoted. No problemo. I just hate the, the, seeing those queues. Let's, oh, training course complete, customer service. So, let's have a little look. Doctors. In fact, let me just have a little look at my doctors. Staff. Doctors. Oh, look, we've got all of these people who have got nothing. They are just junior doctors. I don't know why this person is a researcher. I was only supposed to have two researchers. I'm not sure how that's happened. But, right, I want to get Dwight... Warwick, Macy, and Josiah. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Into some training. So let's get that started. The hospital is going to run on not very many doctors for a moment, but whatever. Let's do. What's a good one for doctors? Do you think I should do. Um, I mean, general practice seems to be a good one. Let's do that. We'll do a guest trainer. This is going to cost a bit of money, but whatever. And then, so who did we want to do? We wanted to do uh, Josiah, Warwick. Oh, all the ones with no... All these student doctors. Right, get them in there. It's not so bad in this hospital because we get uh, 5,000 cash back once we've... Oh, look, look. Queues outside this GP's already. Maybe I should hire... I'm going to have to hire some more doctors whilst... Oh, Avocado, I want to hire her. She wants potential, she wants more money. Okay. We'll just... We'll buy, we'll buy her. We won't buy her, we'll hire her. Oh, no. Right, let's get some benches down for these people that have come over. There's a queue outside this one already. Seven people, it's just madness. Can sit on some benches there. Trying to make it nice for you. Patience. It's just difficult, you know. It's difficult. All of a sudden, so many seem to so many of you seem to have like just arrived at the hospital. It's a bit chilly in places. Let's stick a radiator there. Warm them up a little bit. How are we doing in the rest of the hospital actually? We certainly don't overdo the old heating. In patches it's alright, but generally it is a pretty chilly hospital, but Whatever. Um, I'm going to put... No, I won't put anything there. Because, in fact, is this the staff room? Let's put a radiator in the staff room. Because poor staff go and have like a little staff break. And they're freezing. We can upgrade our easy scan. We should upgrade things when we can. So let's... Oh, injection Maintenance required. I know. Plants need water. Staff promotion. Yep. Oh, send patient home. I'm going to have to send them home. We're just not ready for them. Oh, nice. We did four out of four patients with the misery guts. We got 15 rep, fa uh, 15k and 20,000. That's a nice little boost. I feel like we needed that. Still just 
huge, stupid, crazy cues. Ah! Uh, let's, I mean, they'll be trained soon-ish, so I'm gonna maybe just bake some more GPs. I'm gonna, who was nearly dying? Someone was nearly dying there. Was it you? You're not doing so good. Oh, you're, you're one, that's okay. Oh, no, a ghost. Training required. You're gonna have to wait. Oh no, people are just dying on the floors, look. Oh! I'm sorry, Jacinta. I came to the hospital at just the wrong time. We're not ready for all these, these people. I'm going to hire another janitor because there seems to be lots of mess. Uh, mechanics, motivation. Yeah, I don't know if I've got someone. Oh, they've awarded us 5,000 for the completion of some training. Oh, excellent. Ooh. Staff promotion. Yeah, you can have that promotion. No problem. You're nearly dying, so you need to go to the front of the queue. You're more important than someone who's just arrived, really, aren't you? So <laughs> the training is starting to be complete, so we'll get those doctors back out, so that'll be good. So they'll be into the GP's rooms. Is there something that makes them work faster? I'm going to have a look, actually. Is there something that makes uh, doctors work faster? I'm going to do it. I'm going to put another GP's room here. Oh, is that the door it needs to go that way around? Is that right? Yeah, there we go. Possibly I might do another one, to be honest. Do you think that's too many to have four? No, no, I'm going to do another one. Let's copy that again, stick it there, and then we'll make a nice little area. Make it, we'll pull, no, a nice little area here with some drinks and stuff and snack machines and whatever that'll work well staff training no not now you can be promoted pedro infinity isn't able to get to where they want to go and where do they want to go what i don't think training anything's blocked completed. training course completed excellent so let's get back in and have a look Toilets need routine Start training service. course. So, let's have a look. We want something that makes them work faster, maybe. Stamina? No. Energy drains at a reduced rate. Work for longer. That could be a good one. Oh, we've got general practice too. We could do. Enhanced diagnosis skills. Motivation. Does that make them go faster? Ah, increased speed and efficiency. Plus 10% speed. Staff with this qualification, 5%. Yeah, let's do some motivation. And then if we can get someone... Oh, we've got a janitor who can do it. Oh, that's that's good. The janitor can be the trainer. And, oh, let's do... Actually, we could do some of the nurses as well. Nurse, nurse, doctor. Oh, no, don't want that doctor. That's a... Research doctor, I'm not bothered about that doctor for the moment. Um, Josiah can go in there. Doctor, how many can we get in here? Can we get oh, one more? There we go. That's going to take a while, that train, I think, but that's okay. We'll get them all in there. Is the amount of people I can get in dependent upon how many desks? I feel like I put six people in, but I've only got five desks. Let's see where they all go. I don't feel like they can all fit. Oh, room required. How far? I'm going to get patient to wait. Was that a bit risky? I've got no one in there. Ah, oh, where is... Where is my... My, um... Doctors with research? Why aren't you in? You shouldn't be there, dude. You should be working... I'm going to pick you up. I know. Sorry. To just <laughs> right in the middle of your appointment. Working the research. He's not supposed to be going other places. Extra staff. Doctor with research. Optional. I'm supposed to have. It's not optional. I want two people in there all the time. I want Agnes and Robert in there all the time. I'm going to pick her up. And put her in as well. Stay there. You're supposed to be working in research. Working in research. 
Oh, we'd have had that injection room by now if you hadn't, you two just hadn't kept wandering off. You are supposed to be working in the injection room. Let's see, how much? 500. See, look how fast it's going up when she's in there. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, well, we should have that soon. We'll have to keep an eye on them that they don't keep wandering to different places. Maybe they thought that like, curing people when they were about to die was more important than researching. But not for me. Get in that research Calling department. Calling nurse. Right, let's... Um, our doctors have diagnosed a patient with mood poisoning. Okay, no, we're on it. We're not far. We're not far. I think... Yeah, 666. Almost there. Three, two quarters. Three quarters. Hang on. Almost there. Whilst that's going on, let's... Let's put some more benches. Or, um, let's... Yeah. Let, whilst we're just waiting for... The... Um, oh, for the injection room. We'll add some more. Ooh, we'll add some benches over by the GPs. He's like ready to sit down. Oh, maybe he wasn't. <laughs> he was just standing there. Get some more benches for these poor people standing up. Oh, there's the person that needs injection. Is that how many days they've got? That countdown, 140. That's when they'll leave the hospital. They're willing to wait around in the hospital for like 140 days. Wow. They're patient. But then I suppose. If they're going to die, <laughs> you would wait there. Oh, challenge. Cure 20 patients. Let's accept that. And let's promote you. That's all good. Hopefully we can cure that many patients. We're almost there. We must be nearly there. Oh, nearly 800. I'm not sure whether we're going to do it in time for this guy. Hang on. This guy's about to die. Come here. Let me put, put you to the front of the... If you Stop. No, I'm trying to click on yet. And then I can put you at the front of the queue. Oh, no, stop. Is he going to the toilet? Oh, he's getting something to eat. Oh, he's in queue. queue no, don't leave and get a drink. You're in queue number one. Go and stand there and wait on fact. Have you got the sniff doctors? <gasps> let's, let's, um, okay, let's just hire another doctor. She is charming and inspiring. That will do. I'm not sure what queue that guy was in, but... I mean, oh, this guy's diagnosis certainty 100%, but he's really not well. Hire another doctor. I don't I hate doing this, hiring doctors, when I don't think I really need them. It's just because they're all in pain at the moment. It's frustrating. But, I mean, to be honest, we probably will need them eventually, because, I mean, look at the hospital. It's pretty huge. We're going to need lots of doctors, aren't we? Fair enough. Injection room required. I know. We should have definitely done this first. Oh, look. So close. A hundred more. A hundred more points. And then we can get the injection room. You can just just get the patient to wait. We won't be long now. We're doing well with the training. We've done 10 out of 20. We're halfway. And I think that we should stick. We'll just leave. Actually, we won't train anyone for the minute. We'll just allow the like all the rooms to have doctors. I think that we probably do need the amount of doctors that we've got, in all honesty. <gasps> Look at these people who are nearly dying. Let's put them. Injection room required. He's willing to wait 200, 200 seconds? Uh-oh. Let me see. <laughs> have we finished? How many? <laughs> I think... Can we, like, kick him? Send him home before he dies? Let's <laughs> send him home. <laughs> we've made him wait in the hospital for all that length of time. They were like, no. Get. Gone. Maintenance Poor thing. I've not seen that before. Does that mean? Oh, that we've kicked him out. That was the guy that we kicked out. Uh, this this guy. Put him at the front of the queue. What does this mean? I'll oh, send for treatment. Oh, you can send them for treatment before you've got your diagnosis. That seems a bit crazy, but okay. Come on, it can't be far off now. Finish this research. Nine hundred and eighty-two. Eighty-five. 87, we're nearly there. Get this injection room built. Oh, here we go. Yes. Done. Oh, I think, do the... They walk out once they've finished the research project that they're doing? I think, maybe. I'm going to upgrade the injection room. I'm going to start them on that. 
But for now, a research complete. Yes, the research team has designed a brand new machine. The syringe is massive, but don't worry, I don't think patients will see it coming. This will allow us to cure a range of illnesses. So let's go over here and we will build an injection room. What's this over here? Deluxe, oh look, I'm gonna make that upgraded. Let's just move this flower. There we go, all finished. Our money's getting quite low, I know it is. Right, let's play and let's see if somebody's heading over. They should, because people, or did, was I telling people to go, no, I was telling people to wait, right? How badly are we doing on this curing patients malarkey? <laughs> We've only cured two. Why are we so slow? I feel like our hospital is so busy, but we're curing no one. <laughs> This person is almost dead. Is, is anyone going to come over? Ah, oh, I really wanted to see the injection room being... We'll see it, we'll see it. Let's just... I'm going to have a little look at any... Machines, and if they can be upgraded, let's upgrade them. Why are we not curing people? How have we only cured three people in, like, whatever many days, 50 days? Let's promote you. That's insane. I think maybe because everyone gets diagnosed to a certain Like, we're doing really good, like, diagnosing and everything, but then because they're having to wait so long, they're dying before we actually kill them, which isn't good, really, is it? Not really the point of the hospital. Anyone coming over here? Oh, come on. I wanted to see somebody being injected with that huge... Huge thing. I thought that we'd blast that staff request, the 20, 20 being cured. I'm just, let's move in. Head in. Everyone who's not doing good, put at the start of the queue. Do you think we need any mm, doctors? There's only one, one room that's saying, whoa, are they queues for psychiatry? 13 and 10. Why have the queues for the psychiatry just gone in crazy all of a sudden? Wow. That's insane. Let's open our wall. Oh, oh, we did good. We got Rising Star. We got Employee of the Year. We never get no deaths. Best teaching hospital. That's good. We're not the most prestigious. Boo. We did get a patient's choice. I'm surprised. A special honour awarded by the patients themselves. They tend to vote based on treatment success. I mean, fair enough. I'm going to work a little bit in between episodes, I think. Maybe just making this area over here a little nicer. And just like, well, this whole of this, uh, this building. Making it a bit nicer and warmer and just nicer. Just nicer overall. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you soon for another episode. Bye!